So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the correlation game. But before I do that, let me mention, if you want a free stats cheat sheet that covers a lot of key concepts, you can find one at CodyBaldwin.com. So as a reminder, correlation is used to understand the relationship between variables. And the way that we measure that is using the correlation coefficient, or R. And R is always going to be somewhere between negative 1 and 1. And if you're right in the middle of that, there's really little or no relationship between the variables. And if you're on the left, strong negative, as one goes up, the other tends to go down. And if you're on the right, strong positive, as one goes up, the other tends to go up as well, or vice versa. And so here's just some examples of positive and negative correlation coefficients shown along with a scatter plot. And in this game, what you're going to get is a scatter plot, and you're going to have to try to predict what the correlation coefficient is. And you can just tell when the, the points are more closely clustered together and they tend to move more clearly in an upward or downward trajectory, those correlation coefficients are going to be higher or lower in the case of negative. So go ahead and head over to guessthecorrelation.com and we'll get started. So when you get to the site, what you're going to do is click on a new game. And on the left hand side, you're going to see a scatter plot appear showing you the relationship between two variables. And what you've got to determine is the strength of relationship or the correlation coefficient. Now, if I look at this scatter plot here, it looks pretty weak, actually really weak. Um, it doesn't appear like there's like it's going sort of in an upward trajectory and the, the data points are fairly spread out. And so what I'm going to do is that when I think about the correlation coefficient, and on this site, it's always in, you know going to be in between 0 and 1. I'm going to take a guess in this box here. So I'm going to say this is fairly weak. I'm going to say something like 0.15. That's going to be my guess for the correlation coefficient. Then I'm going to hit Enter. And it looks like I was fairly close. The true R, the true correlation coefficient was 0.18, and I guess 0.15. Okay, so I'm going to click Next and try another one. Wow, this looks like a much stronger relationship between these two variables. It's going to be much closer to 1 than to 0. And so my guess is going to be 0.15. Eight, five. Actually, it was a lot higher than that. The true R was 0.94. There's a very strong relationship between these variables. All right, let's try one more. This looks, you know, moderately strong, not as strong as the last scatter plot. My guess is going to be about 0.7 is going to be the correlation coefficient. Actually, right on. Perfect. Okay, so try this a few times, get practice assessing what the strength of relationship is between these variables just by looking at the scatter plot. All right, thanks for watching. As a reminder, if you're looking for a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one at codybaldwin.com.